What up YouTube? Today we are reviewing the Nike Flyknit Trainer Chucker FSB. Um, I think the official colorway is uh, black, sail, dark grey and light charcoal. Um, but yeah, the FSB uh, I think stands for Field Special Boot. <clears throat> These were... I think in the 2014 Winter Olympics, the light grey one debuted, um, but this is a nicer colorway in my opinion. You have the Nike Chucker FSB on the tongue. You've got, uh, I think these are 3M maybe, I'm not sure. Black and speckled laces, flat laces. You've got the flying it upper on the whole uh, upper of the shoe. You've got a pull tab at the back of the shoe, uh, sort of that Nike seller tape that comes on the, on the delivery boxes. Um, you've got a, I think it's that, I don't know what they're calling this. Um, it's similar to a Hyperfuse, but obviously it's not Hyperfuse. But it gives it an extra bit of firmness around the heel, and they've got it uh, around the toe box and uh, where the big toe would sit. They have given you a bit more there. I think it just gives the trainer a bit more solidness, uh, as opposed to say you're wearing like a a Roshi or a Rush Run, whatever they're called, where there's just the fabric meets the sole, kind of like loses its shape and forms to your foot. Uh, you've got the white Nike swoosh uh, sail, is that white colorway? Um, all black tongue. The tongue is uh, it's only connected at the base uh, of the shoe but I think it would have been nicer if the tongue was uh, connected to the side or had that elastic bit that runs inside like an Air Max 95 or something where the tongue would stay centered because I find that when you wear these the tongue drifts off to the side of the shoe uh, so I think they should have added a bit of elastic inside to keep it centered how they have on like the 95s uh, it's got fly wire also running through to the lace eyelets uh, you can see the it, it comes in with the fly knit stitching I believe the fly wire goes under the, the sole unit and uh, comes up the other side so it would sort of wrap around go back around and it's supposed to give a bit more structure to the trainer without adding weight uh, this is the first pair of trainers that I've had that are fly knit and I must say that I really like them uh, they're very thin as you can see, the whole way through the trainer, it's very, very thin. But surprisingly, they're not that cold. you think being in the winter, uh, now we're just coming up to spring, but uh, I think it was released for the Winter Olympics. <clears throat> so you'd think they'd be very cold, being that fly knit fabric. But yeah, they're not too bad if you've got a pair of socks on. They're all right. You have the insole with some extra cushioning in the heel and in the forefoot, or the, what do you call that part of your foot? Yeah, the main part of your foot where your toes are. You've got the black Nike logo on the the heel. Yeah, that's about it really for the insole. Um, I think this is Thylon. They're calling it Thylon cushioning system in the sole, which is just a really thick foam. It's got like that Nike free run sole where it uh, it's got big gaps in it so it can flex. Uh, the heel unit is a bit, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's a bit more raised in the heel than the rest of the shoe. I suppose because it's the uh, FSB, it's a boot, so a boot would have a, a heel on it, I suppose. So maybe that's their idea of, but you can just about see it. it's raised a bit more on the heel. But you've got a nice bit of grip on the heel, you don't really notice it when you're wearing them the raisedness sorry but you've got a nice grip on the heel extra traction if you're wearing these outside in the winter um, speckling on the the midsole it's like a silvery color on the midsole there and matches the lacing I suppose they have re-released a very similar color model but instead of the white or sail swoosh color it's a it's a dark it's like that color dark uh, charcoal or dark grey and this is the charcoal so they've got the dark grey swoosh and the laces are very thin rope laces um, 
I originally bought those ones first, but I didn't like the thin laces. Um, I much prefer the flat laces. I wasn't too bothered about the color of the swoosh, so I ended up sending them back and uh, purchasing these ones. The retail on these is £150 UK, which is, I think, a very expensive for a flyknit shoe. Well, I think a lot of the flyknits are expensive anyway, but for when you feel flyknit, how thin it is, uh, and there's not much to these boots, they literally weigh nothing. So spending £150 on them, you feel like you're being ripped off. But you spend £150 on Jordans, but you probably wouldn't spend it on this. But I would say that they, they definitely are worth the money. Um, if you've got the money to spend on them, they're definitely worth the £150. Because um, I think the material, although it's flying it, it's a very uh, rough and sturdy fabric. I can't see that it's going to be ripping anytime soon. Um, it will probably soften a bit with age, so they'll probably be a bit less to shape. But yeah, very. They come just about ankle bone level, so they sit like a boot. I don't know how they would go in the summertime if you're wearing shorts or anything, but in the winter with jeans on, yeah, they're a good look. <clears throat> there are other flyknit chuckers, but they are not the FSB ones, and they've come with a regular sole or a Lunaron sole. And I've heard the Lunaron chuckers are some of the most comfortable shoes to wear. But um, the colorways in the Lunaron ones are a bit too loud and vibrant for me. So I went for the FSB one, uh, the dark charcoal color. I really liked them. A bit expensive, but yeah, definitely after owning them, I'd say they're worth the money. Even though they're a bit, uh, 150 is a bit steep. But yeah, Nike Flyknit Chucker FSB. If you like them, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Uh, if you didn't like it, give me, tell me in the comment section why you didn't like it. Um, and I'll try and improve my videos. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, it's Chris underscore S underscore Ramos. Links will be in the description. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more videos. Uh, this is a sneaker that's already in my collection, so it's not a new pickup. Um, but I should have some new stuff coming in soon so I'll do some full unboxings um, and some more reviews on some newer kicks but yeah um, I'm just doing some sneakers that are already in my collection to get some experience doing sneaker reviews um, so let me know what you think what you want to see if you want to see some on foot videos if you want to see the full unboxings I don't keep sneaker boxes so the ones that are already in my collection that's why it's not an unboxing because I don't, I don't keep the, collect the sneaker boxes I just throw them away. I wear my shoes. I don't buy them to stick on a shelf and look. I, I buy them because I like them and I'm going to wear them. So I, I throw away the boxes and I just treat them like a pair of shoes. I put them on and I go out and that's it. So yeah, when I buy the shoes brand new, you'll get a full unboxing. But yeah, until I get some new pickups, it's just going to be reviews from sneakers that are already in my collection. Peace.